Hi, I'm Tatiana. Welcome to 10 Minute Tasks. In today's video, I will be showing you how I care for my plants and my garden as a new gardener. I have a bunch of plants around my house and they're easy to care for. These ones only require watering about once a week and they thrive. It's a little bit of a window right next to this hanging plant here. These are pothos plants and they only require watering once a week. You can just feel the dirt and if it's feeling dry, then you can go ahead and add some water. And they get pretty long, so you might want to, you know, hang them up on like a hook or something like that and just keep them going. And then this one down here is a Brazil type of pothos plant and it's the same, just watering once a week. Sometimes these leaves fall off or our toddler pulls them out. So if you put them in water, they'll start to root. And when they do like this, then you can go ahead and put it into soil and it makes a new plant. Snake plants, I would recommend only watering every two weeks. If they get too much water, they'll start to get really mushy on the bottom and then they'll just come right up from the dirt. If you tug at them and they're not easy to come out of the dirt, then they're firm and that means they're healthy. If they go over like this, then that means that it might come out of the dirt easy. It's starting to break. When you have a little bit of breakage or browning happening, I think it's best to just go ahead and cut the entire leaf off because the plant, it takes the energy from the dead plants and you can clip it from the very bottom. Okay, so here's my scissors. If you have a plant looking like this where it's exposing a lot of the roots here, then you need to add more dirt. And if you don't have enough space for dirt, you might need to make the pot bigger. So you can take all of this out, put it into a bigger pot, just one size up. Always just go a size up. This plant does really well by the light and it also does well with minimal water. So just watering once a week. This plant also does well with watering just once a week and it's already bent here so I'm going to cut off this leaf here but the rest of the leaves look good. I like the little pink on the leaves. I think that looks cool. This is another snake plant and it's going up into the ceiling. I think that looks cool. Here's another Brazilian pothos, and again, just requiring once a week watering. And sometimes the leaves get really pinkish, yellowish. Okay, now this one in the hallway doesn't get much light. And he's not doing too well, I'd say. He probably needs a little bit more light. And sometimes he gets ends that just come off like this. So I have to periodically come over here and take them off. Um, this one just died completely. So I cut it off to where there was some green, but it looks like it's also not good on here. I probably have to cut it a little bit shorter so it can sprout up again. But anyway, I like having at least one plant there in the corner. In the laundry room, I have this little plant and he's doing pretty good, I'd say. I water him once a week and I probably need a bigger pot for this guy. This is a very small pot for such a big plant. Okay, here I have another snake plant. He's doing good. He's getting taller and taller. No, oh, I love the look of this plant. He does need a lot of light and I water him about twice a week. You can get by with watering once a week but he just looks better with a little bit more water and more light so that's why I put him up against this window here. 
Okay, now we're going to the back unit. These little bushes require no maintenance at all. They do really well with little to no water. And of course they love it when it rains. And these plants right here are just so pretty. They come out this beautiful purple and green color. Okay, so here's my backyard and we have some plants growing here. This is green pepper. This looks pretty good. And these are my banana plants. Uh, these just shot up from the ground. I did not plant these. And when I came here, there was nothing in this backyard. So our backyard used to look like this. But now it looks like this. And right here, avocado. So this one, not doing good. Okay, some of these leaves are not the best. So this one right here is my peach tree and it's looking good. Um, this was an old Christmas tree and the ends of it are starting to look brown so I'll just take those off but I, I trim it regularly so it looks pretty good I'll be ready for next Christmas um, and then right here those just popped up I didn't even plant those but that's cool I like that plant and these are wildflowers that we got from a friend for Valentine's Day um, and then look how beautiful they are now we've got some carrots growing when the stems are really thick that's when you can pull them this one is probably a small carrot here yeah it's very small so I'm gonna put it back so if you pull a carrot and it's not big enough you can just plant it right back this is my garlic chives look how wonderful it's looking things here grow pretty quickly this is arugula this one had a lot of seeds in here, but we had a time where we went to travel for a week and we came back and everything was gone. I have some kale and I believe this is zucchini as well. And then over here, I believe this is zucchini. So again, this is stuff that I planted and I put on these sticks and it didn't do too well see it's completely washed away so now I have a new method I'll show it to you here okay so this is my new method what I did was I used my labeler and I put a uh, tape over it and hopefully that holds better and all these seeds are have sprouted already and they look great Okay, so we have more right here. We've got a yellow squash. Um, those are doing good. Some didn't come through, see? And I try to put like two or three seeds in each because I wanted to make sure that at least one of them would pop up. Uh, zucchini, a few here. Broccoli. Ethiopian kale. Yeah, it's really starting to rain now. And then we've got some zucchini and cucumbers. Little starters right here. And every time I'm getting a, a dead one, I'm just going to take it off. And these need to be watered once a day. And I had all of these starters growing here, but they're not doing well anymore because of that time when we went on vacation for a week. So I'm learning how to get a water system here uh, while we travel. And then this tree also needs to be watered once a day. It is growing fruit. Um, this is gonna be like a tangerine type of tree. Mercot. That one's empty, I need to do something with that. My compost is going out of control. It's not decomposing. I need some like worms or something. 
I will show you my compost. It's so gross. It's like got flies and stuff and it's just not going down fast enough. So I've got a lot here. I gotta figure out what to do with it. Okay, so you might recognize this one. It's typically really red at Christmas time, but right now it's green and I'm just taking off the bad leaves and I water it once a day and it's very happy. This is dinosaur kale. I'd say it's doing pretty good. Probably needs a little bit more watering. And then my green onions are doing good. Just need to take off the ones that aren't turning white. That'll keep it looking fresh. This is zucchini. It's going off the side like this. I might need some like stakes or something to hold it. Those roots look like they need some TLC, probably some more water. I do have fertilizer right here. I've also got some basil growing right here. And this is right under this overhang. So this pot usually gets a ton of water at once or too much shade. But it seems like the basil's enjoying this. So I'm gonna leave it right there. Oregano did not survive, obviously, so we'll try something else. These are in our front yard, and these do really well without watering, but one time there was a frost at about 18 degrees, and these really had a hard time. They all went brown, as you can see here on the bottom. They went brown, and so I had to pull out each of these brown ones just to keep it fresh. Yeah, so you can see here on the bottom, it's a lot of brown, so I just need to pull all of this out. Hey, so that's it. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.